Good morning, or oh, no, good afternoon, probably by now. It's Thursday, and today is the first official run of week 17. Oh my gosh, week 17. Did I do a run? I think I must have had an easy run. I uh, can't remember if I do, I would put it there. Um, but I definitely had two rest days, and yesterday I was supposed to do this run, but I had an appointment in London and so I didn't do it in the morning and then when I got back I got, got a bit lazy <laughs> and then I had to get back to work and then the evening took away so I just ended up just doing 3k and then yes I'm doing it now it's just probably gone one o'clock now but I left about quarter to one so it definitely was afternoon and today's fartlek on the plan so it's officially taper time now it's the first week of taper so three weeks of taper in the plan and uh, first Swede or Inspool work today and it's a 10 minute warm up 10 minute cool down four reps of 531 minutes per kilometer followed by 624 minutes per kilometre and two and a half minutes each no rest I've done one rep and I got to a point where I go up a hill so I thought let me do my update now get to the top of the hill and I'll carry on I was gonna go up and down but I'd go up that hill too much so well, let me just go up once and down once and hopefully the second half will be better but the first half was probably about 20 seconds slower, so average about 5.40, 5.45 minutes. And then the second bit should have been 6.24. I'm sure it's closer to 6.50. So yeah, it's definitely still a fart lick apart from this walk bake, um, but not as fast as prescribed. Always hoping that on the way back it will fit in, but we'll see. I'm also wearing my vapor flies because I'm thinking maybe I should wear them for the marathon and I'm not sure why I haven't worn them for a marathon before I've worn them for half and I definitely it did help so I've got a, my longer run this weekend is 17k so I'm gonna wear them for that 17k just to remind myself how I feel because the last couple of halves and the 20 mile I wore my Asics and Nova Blast threes and I thought yeah these are what I'll wear but um, if I want to try and get that pace I should try and do <laughs> use the best tools at my disposal so and I have I don't know why I'm not wearing these um, vapor flies but I think I, I reserve them for like 5 and 10k races I think I had the plan of wearing the Nova Blast for the marathon so I thought let me not wear them but getting closer to the day and because I didn't have a good time with a, a 20 miler pace wise I was thinking oh, let's use something that will help so I'll test them out on the long run on Sunday and do all the fast sessions and see how they go if, it, if it's a good day on Sunday then these will be my shoe of choice I'll have to clean them up because I've got mud from that New Year's 10k New Year's Day 10k oh was it New Year's Eve New Year's Day I can't remember New Year's Day 10k I think the start and the end was really muddy and so it got really muddy. The rest was fine, it was on tarmac. But yeah. Anyway, waffle, waffle, waffle. So I will put here the results of the whole session so I won't come back to let you know how it goes. I might update you on the next session, but for now, this is what I did. Hopefully it was good. <laughs> um, yeah, talk to you soon, bye. Good morning. It's Friday and run two on the plan. So I found out that there weren't any other runs. There was one taper strength and conditioning um, session which I did on Monday and then the other two days were whatever I want so, um, and yeah yesterday's was much better didn't quite hit the uh, 5.31 but quite close to it and then the 6.24s I definitely hit and came under so it's only the first uh, session I didn't quite hit me but the, the three other reps were fine and then today's session is just an easy plus some strides so it's easy 30 minutes at 717 and then a couple of 20 seconds at 531 pace with like a walk-in recovery or like a very slow jog recovery I think it was only two reps of that and that's done so that's 
the runs for this week. I think there's only three runs this week. And then the long run is 17 and a bit K. So I said I was gonna test my vapor flies on that run. Yesterday, my left foot doesn't feel fine in them, <coughs> but I didn't take my vitamins and magnesium yesterday. So I need to take them regularly. See, I will still wear them on Sunday and see how it does, see how it works. I have no races or anything planned for that one. Uh, it's a shame there's no 10 mile race. Um, but yeah, so run two of week 17 complete. So just one more run and I'll come back and let you know how that goes. Bye for now. Hey guys, it's me. It's Sunday, long run day and last long, long run of the plan last run of week 17 and on the plan is a two hour run uh, at 6.58 pace which is approximately 17.2k I thought I'd wear my um, vapor flies today just to see if I'm okay on a longer run I know I've run with it uh, for half marathons before but I haven't run with it for a while let me go for what people are coming <laughs> um, but I'm not feeling my run today. I don't think it's the vapor flies. I think it's just me. <laughs> um, I've done an hour and 40 minutes and uh, done about 14.67K, but I'm ready to hand the towel in. So I thought, let me just do this update. That'll be a nice little break. And then I'll finish off whether I walk it or uh, at least get to 10 miles and then if I or whatever it is to get home because <laughs> I was going to do an extra bit but I can't be asked really and then my legs are tired all these little dogs everywhere oh. and I'm wearing my uh, Kafuzi Run Club non-elite cap I have to feed my hair through the back so no headband today and it's got all the uh, different World Marathon Majors on there. So it's quite cool. It's kept the sun out of my eyes. Not good for keeping the sweat out of my eyes though. And whether I wear it on the day or not is another matter because I don't have my signature purple headband. <laughs> People won't recognise me. So. But no, it's nice. It's a little bit big for me though. Um, see, there's extra Velcro at the back. So for the most part, this long run has gone okay, as in the average pace is 6.56. It's a dog coming. Look at this dog is coming. Let's go this way. <laughs> so there's been a few that have been 7.10, 7.09, but those were going uphill. I'm really feeling it this time. This training plan is doing me in. And it's not good because I've got a 55k to do afterwards, but at least I don't have to run all the way for that then. It doesn't bode well. But yeah, this is the last long, long run of the plan. So it's taper time. I think the next week, Sunday is 10k, so that should be okay. It's, I'm going to do a race as well, Flitic 10k. So I think I'll be running more because it's an easy run and it should be 8.6k, but it's an hour run, so. I might as well do a 10k. <laughs> this might be the reason why I'm tired because I keep doing races for training plans and then not sticking to the pace of the plan because of all the uh, race atmosphere going on. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep it easy for all the others from now on. All right, you can really tell I'm tired, I'm sorry. But anyway, that was week 17 done. Two more weeks to go. Good luck and congratulations to those running today. Brighton Marathon, London Landmarks, some others as well, but yeah. I'm not going FOMO yet because I'm not ready, <laughs> but all the best. And I will see you next week for another update. If you like this video, please do like. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And I will see you next week for another update. Bye for now. Bye.